The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Thanks, honey, but I can't afford a new dress. And anyway, I don't think I'm going. Oh, why not? Because I haven't a single thing to wear. And besides, I think it's going to be boring. Oh, you don't have a date yet, huh? <laughs> How did you know? That's what I always say when I don't have a date. That must be where I heard it. <laughs> I don't understand it. You're so pretty and so much fun. I think the men would be beating your door down. I don't understand it either. Maybe I should loosen my hinges. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hey, Viv, have you snagged a date for Saturday night yet? Well, actually, there were so many men who wanted to take me that rather than play favorites, I decided not to go at all. That way, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I'll use it next time I don't have a date. <laughs> I wish I could help you find somebody. But the only men I know are boys. I sure wish you were younger. That makes three of us. <laughs> Viv, you know, I'm so tired of worrying about getting a date for Saturday night, I don't even want to go. Listen, we paid $10 a ticket for that dance, and we're going to go to it if I have to rent a tux and lead all evening. <laughs> well, that sounds charming. The trouble with us, Lucy, we're just not trying to get dates. Not trying? We've done everything but loiter in the lobby of the YMCA. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I'll go get my address book. There must be somebody we forgot. I hope so. Well, hi, Jerry. Hi. What's the matter? It's old man Taylor. Who's <laughs> old man Taylor? My new teacher. He gave me a D in arithmetic. Oh, dear. Just when you were doing so well with Mrs. Lucas. Yeah. Why'd you have to go and have a baby right in the middle of one division? <laughs> well, honey, if you're having trouble with your arithmetic, I'll help you. Old man Taylor's the toughest teacher I ever had. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you work harder, you'll do better. I wish he'd have a baby and quit. <laughs> Jerry. Hi, Ken. Any luck? Well, there's something here in the front of the book that might be interesting. It's a number and it's got R.B. by it. Who do I know what the initials R.B.? Why don't you call and find out? <laughs> R.B. Oh, I knew a cute fellow once. His name was Ronnie Belmont. Oh, it might be him. No, maybe it's uh, Rudy Brown. I think he's still single. Well, why don't you call? What do you got to lose? Okay, why not? R.B. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Richard Burton. <laughs> well, who is it? Who's R.B.? Ralph Bagley, my ex-husband. <laughs> well, now, let's just sit down and think. This is getting crucial. Is it crucial enough to ask Harry Connors? Look, every time I need a date, I ask poor old Harry next door. Now, I made up my mind, this time I am just not going to do it. You're right. You should hold out for somebody new and exciting. You want to ask Harry? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Don't I get somebody new and exciting, too? All right, somebody new and exciting for both of us. Too bad about Harry. He's so handy. 
I know. But I wouldn't ask Harry if he was the last man on earth. And I'm beginning to think he is. <laughs> your old man Taylor to discuss Jerry's arithmetic and he's dropping by. Oh, who are you talking to on the phone? Eddie, about a date. Is he calling? Well, it's kind of iffy. If he's in town and if he hasn't got a client to entertain, he may take me. <laughs> if I can't find anybody else. <laughs> well, that sounds romantic. <laughs> oh, that must be old man Taylor. You won't need me, honey. I'll go start dinner. Okay. Hello. Is this the Carmichael house? I'm Mrs. Carmichael. I'm Henry Taylor. Well, Jerry's teacher. Old man Taylor? <laughs> well, won't you come in? Thank you very much. Won't you sit down? Ah. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, about Jerry. Jerry who? <laughs> Your son, Jerry Carmichael. Oh, that Jerry. Yeah. What about it? You know about his arithmetic? His arithmetic? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What about it? He's not doing very well. Oh? Mr. Taylor, would, would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. <laughs> Come and look at old man Taylor. <laughs> Whoa. If that's an old man, I'm joining the senior citizen. <laughs> you? Did you ask him for a date with the dance? Oh, no. I, he came to talk about Jerry. I don't know how to bring up the dance. If you don't, I do. Now, just a minute. Let me think. Let's see now. I could not just go in there and say, uh, Mr. Taylor, how would you like to take me someplace Saturday night? What's the worst thing he could say? I'll have to ask my wife. <laughs> Oh, he may have a wife and six kids. He may. He looks single. That doesn't mean a thing. Ralph looked single the entire time we were married. <laughs> hey, did he have on a wedding ring? I didn't notice. That's a good idea. <sighs> now then, Mr. Taylor, where were we? Well, we were talking about Jerry's arithmetic grades. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Does seem to be a problem, doesn't there? Oh, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. I just think he has to uh, apply himself. And we are going to disallow that D that he received, you see. I've only uh, been here a couple of weeks from San Francisco, and I've been trying to find out exactly how far Mrs. Lucas got with the class. Is, uh, is anything the matter, Mrs. Carmichael? No, no, nothing's the matter. It's just that when my son has problems, I... I get nervous. Well, I don't think you have a single thing to worry about. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> arithmetic teachers, uh, I test their reflexes. Uh -huh. I see. Well, uh, perhaps I'd better be running along, Mr. Oh, no, Carmichael. no, Miss, Mr. Taylor. There's something I want to ask you. What is it? Mr. Taylor, are you maybe interested in coffee? Well, that would be very nice if it isn't too much trouble. No, no trouble at all. <laughs> Isn't wearing a wedding ring. Did you ask him to go to the dance? No, not yet. Do you have some coffee? Sure. 
Lucy? What? I just happen to think, if a man is wearing a wedding ring, it means he's married. But if he isn't wearing one, it doesn't mean he's single. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. What do I do now? <laughs> oh, there must be some way to find out if a man's married. His driver's license, that would tell. If I could just get my hands on his billfold. <laughs> While you're finding out if he's single, he's finding out that you're a pickpocket. <laughs> well, now, look. I'll find some way to get his coat off. Okay. And while I'm hanging it in the closet, I'll look through his billfold, and you keep talking to him about arithmetic. Okay. Okay, come on. You got it? Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Taylor, this is Mrs. Bagley. How do you do, Mrs. Bagley? How do you do? <laughs> I flunked arithmetic. <laughs> Have you ever thought of giving any sort of private lessons to yes, people who were yes. right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there. Now, Viv, would you turn the heat down? It's sweltering in here. It feels fine to me. <laughs> You're burning up. Wouldn't you like to take off your coat? Oh, no, thanks. I feel just fine. <laughs> oh. I, uh, I will have some of that coffee, though. Oh, yes. Yes. Here you are. Thank you. Um, oh, uh, cream? Oh, please, please. Say when. When? Oh, I <laughs> Oh, oh, here, take your coat off, and I'll take it out in the kitchen. I'll put some cold water on it. You'll never know what happened. Come along, dear. Dear! Would you excuse me, please? Okay. On the right sleeve. All right. Here's his driver's license. <gasps> he's single. Yeah, he's born in December. Let's see, that's uh, Sagittarius. I wonder how they get along with Leos. Well, you better not find out. <laughs> Come on, get ready. You can ask him for the dance now. Okay, Put it back in. That was good work. Here we go. There we are, Mr. Taylor. Just as good as new. Thank you. As soon as it dries, you won't ever know what happened. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> There we are now. <laughs> there. Hi. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I find myself with uh, two tickets to the Starlighters charity dance Saturday night, Mr. Taylor, and I, I, I was wondering if you'd like to be my escort. Well, I'd be delighted. Good. <laughs> I'm surprised that, uh, that you're free on such short notice. What with teaching school all day and living at the YMCA, my social life is rather limited. Oh, you live at the new Y. Mm -hmm. well, we were going to have Jerry and Sherman join. Oh, that's a great idea. You know, it's a wonderful place. They have a nice all-around program for building men. They do? <laughs> Running along, I have some papers to grade. Well, thanks very much for dropping by, it Mr. Taylor. It was a Taylor. pleasure meeting both you ladies. <laughs> You'll probably be seeing me at the dance Saturday night. Uh -oh. <laughs> you can pick me up at eight. Fine. And please, don't worry, Mrs. Carmichael. Jerry will be just fine. Jerry? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Real oh, they're making teachers a lot better, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I tell you. So, you know something? Maybe we should have loitered in the lobby of the YMCA. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Lucy? Yeah? There's just one thing. How are you two going to live on a teacher's salary? <laughs> Fine thing. We haven't even had a date, and you're already throwing rice. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Was that old man Peeler I saw coming out of our house? Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> he came over to discuss Jerry's arithmetic. Sherman, 
Are you by any chance having any trouble with your arithmetic? Gosh, no, Mom. How about history? I got an A in my last test. English? I'm doing fine in everything. Good, Sonny. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? I'd have a bright kid. <laughs> oh, Viv. What? His driver's license. I didn't get it back into his billfold. Well, don't get nervous. All you have to do is return it to him. If he knows I have it, he'll know I was snooping. Oh, that's right. How can I get it back to him without his knowing it? Oh, that shouldn't be too difficult. All you have to do is to get into the YMCA, go into a man's room, put his driver's license back in his billfold and put in his coat, and get out without being caught and shot as a spy. <laughs> well, that is something of a challenge for us, isn't it? Well, the biggest for us? Yes. <laughs> I need help. Count me out. Now, look, dear. I cannot do this alone, and if I don't do it, Mr. Taylor will not take me to the dance Saturday night, and I'll be sitting home alone, and you'll go to dance with Eddie, and you'll have a wonderful time. Can you imagine the mood I'll be in all next week? <laughs> <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> now, look, here's the plan. First, we have to get him out of his room. Mrs. Bagley. No, no, not at all. No, that's quite all right. I'll, I'll be, I'll be right down. division, only longer. I guess you could put it that way. <laughs> oh, the way you explain fractions. You just make them sing. <laughs> if I may say so, Mr. Taylor, there's nothing common about your denominator. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Bagley. Now, I really must be running along. I have a fencing lesson in just a few moments. Oh, oh, no. Now, Mr. Taylor, please, please. Uh, now, before you go, would you mind writing all of that down for me? Oh, just well. write it all down. When I explain it to my son, Sherman, I want to be sure I get everything right. Just write it right there. <laughs> I hear you're going to dance tomorrow night with some good-looking redhead. Yeah. Hey, ask you if you've got a friend for me, will you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are early for your lesson, Taylor. 
And nevertheless, we can start right away. Pick up your toil, Taylor. All right, in your position. Here, Taylor. Here, here, here. Yes, right here. Very good. Attention. Straight. Eh? Salute. Uh, no, 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 Taylor. Salute. Pick up your foot. That's one. Salute. Once more. Hey, very good. Now face the north wall. Face the north wall. Very good. Now we commence. Hundred. Hey, 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 can I hear it? North wall. Very good. Hundred. Now what we do? No, no, no. That hand up. Up, 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 up in the back, in the back. No, you are too tense, Taylor. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> That's too relaxed. <laughs> Control your body, eh? Relax. Very good, very good. Eh? Now, uh, relax. No, no, your hand is clutched. You don't have clutch. Like this, like this, yes. No, do not wave at me, no. Yes, <laughs> Elbow in, that's right, the shoulders back. Your knee in, that's the ass. <laughs> now we will do balestra. You will recognize the rhythm, man. Eh? Balestra. Guard! Oh, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh. relax, relax, very good. Balestra. such an attractive girl as you, free on Saturday night. <laughs> it's fate. <laughs> Would you believe it? This is the first Saturday night in weeks that I haven't had a date. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's not only attractive, she is brave. <laughs> you mean for going out with me? <laughs> no, I mean about all that business with that kooky character yesterday. Oh, dear. Did they ever find out who that was? Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon yeah. me, just a moment. Thank you. Eddie Collins! Hi, you, honey. What are you doing here? Well, I just got to thinking. I'm not going to put business before you, so I told my client I had a very important date. And I brought Charlie along for Lucy. Oh. Uh, Charlie Graham, Lucy Carmichael, oh. and oh, Vivian Bagley. Oh, hello. Well, Charlie Graham, I'd like you to know Henry uh, Taylor. Uh, Mr. Taylor. Charlie. Oh, but I got to thinking I can't stand you up, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so I had someone else take the flight, and I brought along Stan Williams for Viv. Hey, Stan. Oh, oh for heaven's sake. Hello. Any problem? Well, I, I just don't know who's going to have the first dance. <laughs> well, how do you do, how Stan? Do you do? Stan Williams, I'd like you to know Tom Bennett. Tom, Tom Bennett, Stan Williams, uh, Stan Williams, uh, Stan Williams, Henry Taylor. Henry Taylor, uh, Ed Collins, Stan Williams. <laughs>
Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. Honey, but I can't afford a new dress, and anyway, I don't think I'm going. Oh, why not? Because I haven't a single thing to wear, and besides, I think it's going to be boring. Oh, you don't have a date yet, huh? <laughs> How did you know? That's what I always say when I don't have a date. That must be where I heard it. <laughs> I don't understand it. You're so pretty and so much fun, I think the men would be beating your door down. I don't understand it either. Maybe I should loosen my hinges. Hi, kid. Hi. Hey, Viv, have you snagged a date for Saturday night yet? Well, actually, there were so many men who wanted to take me that rather than play favorites, I decided not to go at all. That way, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I'll use it next time I don't have a date. <laughs> I can help you find somebody. But the only men I know are boys. I sure wish you were younger. That makes three of us. <laughs> Viv, you know, I'm so tired of worrying about getting a date for Saturday night, I don't even want to go. Listen, we paid $10 a ticket for that dance, and we're going to go to it if I have to rent a tux and lead all evening. <laughs> well, that sounds charming. The trouble with us, Lucy, we're just not trying to get dates. Not trying? We've done everything but loiter in the lobby of the YMCA. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I'll go get my address book. There must be somebody we forgot. I hope so. Well, hi, Jerry. Hi. What's the matter? It's old man Taylor. Who's old man Taylor? My new teacher. He gave me a D in arithmetic. Oh, dear. Just when you were doing so well with Mrs. Lucas. Yeah. Why'd you have to go and have a baby right in the middle of one division? <laughs> well, honey, if you're having trouble with your arithmetic, I'll help you. Old man Taylor's the toughest teacher I ever had. Yeah, well, I'm sure if you work harder, you'll do better. I wish he'd have a baby and quit. <laughs> Jerry. Hi, Aunt Any luck? Well, there's something here in the front of the book that might be interesting. It's a number and it's got R.B. by it. Who do I know what the initials R.B.? Why don't you call and find out? <laughs> R.B. Oh, I knew a cute fellow once. His name was Ronnie Belmont. Oh, it might be him. No, maybe it's uh, Rudy Brown. I think he's still single. Well, why don't you call? What do you got to lose? Okay, why not? R.B. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's Richard Burton. <laughs> hey, look at me, <laughs> Who is it? Who's R.B.? Ralph Bagley, my ex-husband. <laughs> well, now, let's just sit down and think. This is getting crucial. Is it crucial enough to ask Harry Connors? Look, every time I need a date, I ask poor old Harry next door. Now, I made up my mind, this time I am just not going to do it. You're right. You should hold out for somebody new and exciting. <laughs> you want to ask Harry? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Don't I get somebody new and exciting, too? <laughs> All right, somebody new and exciting for both of us. Too bad about Harry. He's so handy. 
<laughs> I know. But I wouldn't ask Harry if he was the last man on earth. And I'm beginning to think he is. <laughs> Taylor to discuss Jerry's arithmetic and he's dropping by. Oh, who are you talking to on the phone? Eddie, about a date. Is he calling? Well, it's kind of iffy. If he's in town and if he hasn't got a client to entertain, he may take me. <laughs> if I can't find anybody else. <laughs> well, that sounds romantic. <laughs> oh, that must be old man Taylor. You won't need me, honey. I'll go start dinner. Okay. Hello. Is this the Carmichael house? I'm Mrs. Carmichael. I'm Henry Taylor. Well, Jerry's teacher. Old man Taylor? <laughs> well, won't you come in? Thank you very much. Won't you sit down? Ah. Now, Mrs. Carmichael, about Jerry. Jerry who? <laughs> Your son, Jerry Carmichael. Oh, that Jerry. <laughs> yeah. What about it? You know about his arithmetic? His arithmetic? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. What about it? It's not doing very well. Oh? Mr. Taylor, would, would you excuse me for a moment? Certainly. <laughs> Come and look at old man Taylor. <laughs> Whoa. If that's an old man, I'm joining the senior citizen. <laughs> you? Did you ask him for a date with the dance? Oh, no. I, he came to talk about Jerry. I don't know how to bring up the dance. If you don't, I do.